Good morning, Internet. It's Thursday morning, the 27th of July. Although, if we look outside, it could be the 27th of November. Let's, let's just do it. Let's, I've got to do it. Let's swing around. It's not as bad as it was, to be fair. Uh, it was absolutely throwing it down not so long ago. And I have no reason to think otherwise that we may get some later. Okay, so, obviously no bike ride today. But, now, the Himalayan, squeaky back brake. Well, no, it's not a squeaky back brake. It's a sort of a, it's a, it only, it's only when you, sometimes when, not or every time, sometimes when you put the brake on, it's not squeaky, it's like a real, like a, oh, in, did you like that? <laughs> like a, oh, in noise. And, <laughs> and apparently, there's quite a few of them that suffer with this. So I thought to myself, do you know what? Whip out the brake pads, have a look at them. Now, I've heard lots of people say, oh, you know, these, the, the, the factory fitted ones, they're not good. And to be honest, okay, they're probably not. I'm not going to rip mine out and change them just because I think that when they need changing, then I'll upgrade them. Uh, but it certainly doesn't hurt to get them out, give them a little clean, and see what's what. Now, most of the Himalayans or previous models on the back you have two spring clips one either side pull the spring clips out not the bar through and that's it my model and we'll have a look at it in a bit which is the euro 5 um, it only has one clip and i do believe that you you knock it through the same you know into the wheel but there's like a little collar which which tightens it up uh, so that's what they've done they've put it down to the one and the, it, the design is slightly different on the outside of the caliper as well they've they've done away with the writing and they've just put the symbol i'll put a photo after this of the old uh of the old style so we'll not anyway. anyway let's get around to it let's see what's what let's get the camera in the right place shall we not and then that way we should be able to see what we are doing so let's get that down here so first of all this is a little box of treats well look on the side you are now you've just got look the actual symbol before there was writing there so they've changed it to this i do believe that this is exactly the same one that's fitted to the scram 411 so you haven't got a clip on this side you've only got one clip that is there okay right so let's stand this up there like that let's get that down there like that it's always difficult when i've got to get there as well well not difficult right let's see how this all comes apart so let's get this clip out for the start off right it's all right i'm not being left-handed i'm always where the camera wants to be so get a good hefty little pull there you go there's a there's a spring clip look funny shaped thing not a normal clip but it does the job obviously right now look this hole here is is very small yeah so oh, what we're going to do is look i'm going to get i'm going to get this hopefully this won't be tight so you know this is just a this is just a cheap little sort of torque drive which i don't particularly use because i've got a better set than this so that fits in there quite nicely hopefully this will just now i do believe because you've got to knock this the clip the spring clip which is in here look fitted to this bar but in here you just gotta get that through there you go okay and then what we'll do here look hopefully come around there oops and we will grab this there you go hopefully i can just get it get it out with my hand there would be really nice like that there you go and that's that out so let's have a quick look give a quick wipe so that's what it looks like look yeah it has that that clip on the end with 
with the gap in it there and that just basically closes up as it's knocked in and that hold, holds it there yeah there we go sorted right so let's have a look at these pads let's just put this down here and see what the pads are like so I would imagine that these just simply pull out which they do well there's the one look here okay there's the one pad bit of a gloss on it look I would say probably there there's an uneven bit of wear on it okay but we'll give them a little bit of a clean and the other one there the same again look on on that corner there yeah a little bit of a uneven wear maybe a bit of catching there yeah all right okay so we're going to put them there like that okay uh what i'm going to do is just give me two minutes i'm just going to walk across here and somewhere here I have a very fine bit of paper and up here I should have got all this ready really but hi ho gives me something to walk around doesn't it eh? right let's reposition the camera a minute shall we let's bring this up a bit okay so as we can see i mean there's a there's quite a chip off that one there again you know nothing much so we'll just take the glossy bits off I mean obviously these aren't vintage at all so you know these are these are like really bog standard but they do the job don't they let's face it they do the job I mean the wear seems pretty even at the moment so I suppose that's one good thing this weather's absolutely lazy isn't it? look at it I mean it's still raining like I said, I, half the time you can't really see it on the GoPro, but it is rainy. Okay, that gets that there. It's just, you know, this is summer, disappearing, eh? At a great speed of knots before we know it will be back in winter. I really feel sorry for the people, you know, and there's, there is quite a few people come over here on holiday now. Okay, so I'm just going to spray a bit up there, get that all nice and clean. Not that it's particularly dirty. Get the disc clean. In a bit. Right, let's give that a good spray. Give these a good clean. okay and that's that now whether this is actually going to stop them squeaking or not i really don't know but it's certainly worth a try i mean it's no big deal the brakes were okay you know everything was working fine so hey notice the brand parkside good old level 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 who the hell is level good old little hey uh, tin of this i think i think this is what i don't know two and a half euro Compared to you go to an automotive place, you're looking at 10, 12 euro. Does exactly the same job. Exactly the same job. And you can afford to keep everything nice and clean because you can do it more often, eh? Okay, so. There we go. So you can see that they, they've they cleaned up. Uh, like I said, whether it will actually make any difference or not, I'm not too sure. 
Now hang on, I'm just going to go and get me a couple of pieces of paper towel. Ha! And guess where the paper towel comes from? Yeah, you got it right. Lidl. Don't we just love Lidl? Eh? <laughs> right, okay. So, let's give this one a bit of a clean off. Like so. And then what we're going to do is where the piston comes out at the back and you can you you can see the mark where the piston's been we're just going to put just a little tiny smidgen a copper slip around here look yeah just round there like that yep yeah. and then we're going to slide this in there like that just let him drop down there a minute in fact I probably should have done the other one first but never mind hopefully it, it will stay there Let's not get the bit with the copper slip on, so it's clean this one. Get all the muck off the sides. Okay. Alright, like I say, there, there is that, it looks like probably that's out of stone or something catch that or maybe when they put it in, who knows. It could be a bit of a mystery. Okay, bit of copper slip again against the moving surfaces. Which obviously, of course, this one at the back doesn't particularly move that much because the piston is only a one. I'm not going to bother with the with the rubbers in it this time because you know this bike hasn't really done enough mileage to worry about that. Right, so let's just keep that there. Again, this, you know, doesn't hurt to copper slip it. Put a bit on there, yep. For future reference of when it comes out, doesn't it? Put a bit on this bit here, on the actual pin itself. Let's just get this in. Get my hands in between the spokes, <laughs> he says. Hopefully get it on the right one. Get that pad up and fixed in there. Oops, and there's the other one fell out. And why would it not do that, eh? Why would it not do that? Copper slip's still on, so that's nice. So let's get this one back in there. I should be able to do that from this side now. They're all fingers and thumbs here, aren't they? Trying to get things grabbed. Okay, let's cut that through nicely. Now all we need to do is gently tap this back home. I mean, you're only just knocking it over the clip so it goes in. That's probably going to be not too much. So this, I hope you can see what I'm doing here, can you? Let's get in. Probably not. Uh, Let's get this down a bit. No, not that. Get that down there like that. Yeah, okay, that should do it like that. Right, so I'm going to use this, an extension bar, yeah, because this will fit through here nicely all the spokes get onto that and it should take this home nice and easy 
you've just got to get that clip closed up in its little position and then in it goes look couple more and I do believe let's have a look see where the hole is maybe just one more little tap and I'd say that's it yeah okay that's great get our clip and we will put this back on here bit of an angle down there that's it and that's on there like that okay try the back bags oops And there you go, job in the town, done. All we can do now is when it ever stops raining, is, uh, is take it outside and see if the actual squeak has stopped, which would be extremely nice if it has. So yeah, oops. I mean, that was just quick and easy, wasn't it? Eh? Um, all done in <sighs> yep I'll just clean there's a little bit of copper slip just on the back of that uh, and I'll clean that off and then it's done um, like I said wasn't a bad squeak it, it, and it wasn't all the time and it like I said it wasn't really a squeak it was a stupid like a binding noise um, but not all the time that that bat break was on. Well, I could do a few days and then not do it. So I thought to myself, considering that this weather is so awful, we might as well get to these little jobs done. Um, before I psych myself up to the valve adjustments, which, <laughs> which I don't want to do, but still, never mind. Okay, that's about it today, folks. Uh, just a little quick and easy job. So don't forget, if you've got this model or you've got the Scram, the 411 because they've got exactly the same one it's only the one pin you've just got to give it just a little bit more knocking just to get that clip closed up and out and once you've done that it's absolutely brilliant that's all done right i'm off uh it's absolutely throwing it down again <laughs> i'll catch you in the next video see you soon take care bye for now